Hi guys, welcome to the first demo review uh, out of the many demos in this next fest on Steam. So I'll get right to it. This is Trapang 2. My goodness, Trapang. Look at look at the action on your screen now. And the game is called Trapang 2. I mean, are they f***ing what? What? Trip? It sounds like a f***ing board game from the 80s. <laughs> You've been Trapang! <gasps> Trapang! You know, oh god. It should be called Die Bastards or something. Not f***ing Trapang. What the f*** off? Anyway, you play as an escaped soldier who has no memories of their past life, but is infused with supernatural abilities. Sounds a bit like fear, doesn't it? Actually, plays a bit like fear as well. Revenge is on your mind, and you will stop at nothing to get what you want. Deliver devastating punches, sneak around in the shadows, wield explosive weapons, and give the bad guys a taste of their own medicine. This game is a first-person shooter, as you can see. Uh, you have slide abilities, stealth abilities, uh, you have slow down time abilities, all kinds of shit like that. But most importantly, you've got a big Mac. You're not going to say play that song again. You do it every video now. Stop it. Stop it. Who gives the Give us a big gun? The big gun. A big pile of elephant gold. Who gives the Give us a big fucking gun? The big fucking gun. A big pile of elephant gold. Who gives the Give us a big fucking gun? The big fucking gun. Give us a big pile of elephant gold. Who gives the Give us a big fucking gun? The big fucking gun. A big pile of elephant gold. Give us a give us a big fucking gun, the big fucking gun. Give us a big pile of elephant gun. You can dual wield pistols. You can get machine guns. You can dual wield machine guns. There's grenades, all kinds of stuff. They have beautiful shotgun as well. Feels really makes your lips stick right out when you just go. This game is, it, you, you need big lips to play this game, you really, you, you'll find it all the time your lips are out, it's just that, this is the ultimate lip simulator, and I freaking love it, I'm not so much keen on the, the first stealthy bit that you do, but you get a, a mission, you get the prologue to the actual game, which is alright I guess, um, but the best one is the mission where you have to, you're just getting waves of enemies coming at you while you have to download these. Uh, this hack, you've got to hack into this device and keep near that while the um, download's taking place. If you go too far away or, or enemies get near it, the download stops, so you've, it forces you back into the action. And it's absolutely brutal. It's just a never-ending supply, it seems, of enemies. And you're eventually running out of bullets. And it's just nuts, absolutely nuts, running around. I've, I've played this on hard and on normal, so this footage is mixed. Uh, the AI is pretty damn tough on hard, I tell you. It's really good. I had a bit of trouble with them. I cannot aim great with my arm yet. It shakes now and then, which is kind of annoying. But um, I still managed to have some really good games on hard. It's certainly not uh, overpowered on hard, um, but it's, it's, it's bloody great. Like I say, it's lips. It's just lips. It's just, this is just li big fucking guns and lips. That's what this game is. I think every kill you make in this is satisfying. Uh, on normal, sometimes the AI will run past you. And it's like, yeah, where are you going, mate? What's the matter? You left a cougar on or something. And, you know, they just shoot them in the back as they're running away. Uh, but nine times out of ten, the AI is pretty decent. Look, this is what I think of the AI. Most games today have awful AI. This is certainly, out of a lot of the games over the years, the last few years that I've played, this has definitely better AI. They don't just chase you blindly into ambush zones. You can't just shoot them and then they'll say, oh, there he is, and then you run around the corner and just wait for them. They're not, they're not that daft. In fact, sometimes they just will not budge. They'll just say, no, 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 you want us, you've got to come to us. And, yeah, that's... I like that. I like that. So, there's, it still needs work. It's still not there yet. It's still not fear AI. I mean, AI and fear is still a, quite a bit better than this. I haven't seen any evidence yet of being flanked uh, on, on purpose in, in the game. Uh, surely you, you, you do get flanked when there's that many enemies because you're bound to. But um, I've never seen like two or three working together yet like you do see in fear a lot. But it's still damn enjoyable. There's also no stupid bloody XXX rear vision in this game. You know, the tells you, ooh, there's a guy around the corner, ooh. Cough. This is pure instinct, knowing the layout of the buildings, trying to listen to where you hear the enemy they'll kind of give away the positions at times but a lot of the times you'll run around a corner expecting an enemy there and there's just nothing and it's like oh shit 
then it gets shot in the back. It's great. It's freaking great. The big downer for me is that you can't really find your keys. I've had to use a macro on my keyboard and, and change the Wasad to TGFH. Uh, so that needs fixing. You can rebind a lot of your other keys, but the movement keys you can't, and I don't understand that. I hope that's not going to be a thing when the game releases. That would be really f***ing annoying for a lot of people. We don't all use Wasad. But it's looking great. The name's awful, but the game's looking absolutely tutti-frutti. Brilliant. Definitely worth downloading this demo. You'll love it.